I'm Liz and welcome to the Sewers Club Churn Dash Block Sewing Tutorial. We will be following along with the instructions in our free pattern, which can be downloaded on our website using the link in the description. This block can be made in the 6 inch and 12 inch variation. For this video, we will use the measurements for the 6 inch block. We recommend using a quarter inch seam allowance and a 1.8 stitch length throughout this project. Let's dive into the cutting. So for this block, you will need two three inch squares of fabric A, along with one one and a half inch by 10 inch strip of fabric. For fabric B, you will also need two three inch squares and one one and a half by 10 inch strip and one two and a half by two and a half inch square. Let's begin by sewing the half square triangles. To do that, you're going to take one three inch square of fabric A and one three inch square of fabric B, and you're going to place them right sides together like this. And we're going to draw a diagonal line going from the top right to the bottom left, or in this case, from corner to corner. I'm going to line that up. I'm using a marking pen, I'm going to draw a diagonal line through the fabric like so. It should look something like this. So now you're going to take this to your sewing machine and using a scant quarter inch, you're going to sew on either side of the line. So once it's sewn, it should look something like this. So once it's sewn, we're going to take our rotary cutter and we're going to just split the block on that line that we drew, like so. And this will create two half square triangles. So we'll trim these down to be two and a half inches square. And then we're going to repeat on the remaining three inch squares of fabric to create a total of four half square triangles. So now that our half square triangles are cut and pressed, we're going to sew our strip set together to create the next block. So to do that, we're going to take the two 10 inch by one and a half inch strips of fabric and we're going to lay them down right sides together like this. And we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew a scant quarter inch on one of the long edges here. So now that it's sewn, we're going to take this to the iron and we're going to press it to the dark side like this. So now that our block is pressed, we can cut it down to size. So we're going to take our rotary cutter and our ruler, and we're going to measure two and a half inches, just like that. We'll take that rotary cutter and we're going to cut the block down. So we'll get one piece. Two. And this third final piece. And there you go. Now we have four pieces from our strip set. Now we're ready to assemble the block. So we're going to take these four pieces that we just made and we're going to line them up like this. We're going to take the two and a half inch square of fabric B and we're going to put it right in the center. And then we'll take our four half square triangles and we'll put them so fabric A is pointing inward, like this. So now that it's all laid out, we can put the block together. You can either chain piece them or sew them into rows and then sew the rows together. Make sure that when you're sewing these rows, you are pressing them in opposite directions so you can get a very nice nest when you sew these pieces all together. So once your block is sewn together, it should look something like this. Unfinished, this block will measure at six and a half inches and in your finished project, we'll measure six inches square. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you found it helpful, please hit that like button and comment any questions you have below. Thanks for watching.